Hi, I'm Dr. Stephen Toddy. I was hired by the Psychology Department at North Carolina State University to recommend curricular changes to large enrollment classrooms like Psychology 200, which is introductory psychology here at NC State. In an effort to increase critical and creative thought and to make the classroom experience in a large enrollment classroom more engaging, the model that we're using to approach this issue is a flipped classroom. The flipping the classroom model is an instance in which we ask students, instead of traditionally coming in and listening to a lecture for the full class period, Students are asked instead to watch videos prior to coming to class, like the one that you see here, that I've recorded that contains all the content from that lecture that was intended. And then when they come into class, we spend that time together working on collaborative projects. The students group up into small groups, they're assigned roles, and they complete group work that helps them think critically and creatively during that class period. So there are two kinds of efficiencies that are bought by recording the lecture on video and then giving it to students beforehand. And those two efficiencies are First of all, the lecture is cut down from about 50 minutes to between 12 and 24 minutes. So from a quarter to a half of the amount of time that it would usually take to convey that information. That's the first one. Obviously, time is just saved that way. The second one is, at the pace that I move in class, some students get lost, while some students are really bored moving through the material. So this way, I'm free to speak at whatever rate I wish, as long as it's clear and coherent. And then students, if they haven't caught all the information, or they want to slow down the video or go over something again, have the liberty to do so, something they could never have done in the actual live classroom. So here's the formula that we apply to make the flipped classroom work. As you know, students have already watched the video before they come into class, so the moment that we start class, the students complete an open note quiz based on the content from the lecture to encourage their note taking during that video. After that, they start on the first of two group exercises, where they form together as groups, they assign themselves roles, and they're given a discussion question that promotes creative and or critical thinking, and then write as a group their answer on their discussion board. I get to circulate during that exercise and to speak with all the groups, speak with members who may be confused or people who have really great ideas, and during that I identify a couple of groups that I want to come down and record their responses. Once the time is up for the task, the timekeeper alerts the facilitator who brings the group's focus back to the front of the room. Once focus is reobtained, the presenter is asked to hold up the board so that I can record it with a photograph that will be used later to provide students with reflection on what answers they provided as a class. Once I've documented responses, I ask specific presenters from specific groups who I see holding up very interesting responses to share out what kind of response their group provided and the logic behind it. Having identified groups during the group work time that I'd like to come down and record their responses on video, I now ask those group's presenters to come down and do so. Student responses that are recorded during class can be put into a playlist that can then be used as artifacts of student learning throughout the semester. After student responses are recorded for this discussion question, we move into the next. No, there are just two people in the population and they happen to be identical twins. Oh. <laughs> Thanks to the efficiencies bought by recording the lecture prior to class instead of presenting during the entire class, there's time available at the end of class to invite students down to ask any questions that they have about lecture content from the video or any questions that arose during the class activities. Using the flipped classroom model affords students many different kinds of benefits. Even and especially in a large enrollment classroom, students are able to publish their own critical and creative thought products. They're able to reflect later by going back to those videos and watching themselves perform. They're able to improve their performing skills and they're able to develop more high quality relationships with their instructor. 